minutes No matter how hard, nothing is impossible It's possible, so I'm here I see S-A-M-E, bright lights every night The stars align me, I be Eric Bane The kid with the brain, with the shockwave Circulating my skeletal frame I'm the genius, the monster, creator, creation Living out reality in my imagination They say it's impossible, not logical Then I come back, contradicting every obstacle Make every choice with a magic monster Shaded in vodka, jump inside the page, see you later, see you hate it, then I'll be my head to a screen of my saga, 106 in Barclays, interviews with Terrence, every kid today, special guest appearance, rookie of the year, see the number one video disappear, once my single disappears, I'm here, I'm here, gone, gone, say hello to the new number one, number one, thank you, 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 thank
uh, some shooting games, it was a very uh, highly uh, resource required. So it means a lot of server and a lot of network things and deployment and a lot of things is really required of a synchronized multiplayer user. And then a, a synchronous multiplayer user is a turn based game. You know well about uh, some puzzle and a lot of uh, turn based games already in market and single player you already might know. But the synchronous and uh, asynchronous and multi and single player user, but essentially it's most of the game pattern is hybrid. Sometimes it's asynchronous, sometimes it's very synchronized, and sometimes single player, sometimes it's multiplayer. The today game is very complicated because uh, user expectation going high, but you have uh, some uh, providing very uh, complete game model. So it was a, uh, a recently game pattern. The last one is not a game, but you already know about this. It's game, it's client and server side. The behind the game service, a lot of uh, things are happening in there. So for example, uh, authentication, push notification, and other data storage. A lot of things are happening in the behind the game area. So uh, for, uh, today, you might be easily finding your game back and service area. So I saw many uh, partner in, in the booth, uh, advertisement, and payment gateway, and analytics service partner is already in the casual connect event, the outside and in the hall. So it means is that the game development must faster, and game is very complicated to develop and management and to make the money. So the other thing is we are going for uh, some computing side. Some it's not mentioned about the synchronize and multiple and other things. The computing pattern side is five kind of some cloud computing uh, is a comp computing pattern on and off. It sometimes is very highly used, but sometimes does not using nothing to use. So for example, at after people is Monday morning is not much enjoy the game. So it's Monday morning is your system is does not work um, much 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 working it's no, no more. But it's uh, night time or weekend time your server system is getting a lot of pressure from the client side. And growing fast. In this case, you are launching a new game and new market. You don't expect it about is the game successful or not, and how much user is fast in the using your game. But you have a prepared resource for a lot of user comes in. Unpredictable bursting. OK, our game is already in a uh, very steady uh, stage. But sometimes it's uh, every Sunday, or you can expect it about that sometimes it's very picking about your resource. And predictable bursting is uh, on and off, it's a little bit different. It's so very low, and sometimes it's up, going down. And after your game launching, after three months later, or four months later, you can expect your resource. 24 hours, 7 is a very steady resource consuming. OK, this computing side of the pr side, you can look at it in the one week's it model. The Monday, uh, Sunday is Monday, Tuesday, up and down, up and down. But you have to, uh, minimum resource is uh, abo o above 20% about the, your resource. In this case, you have uh, uh, saving the money for the resource is very hard. A yearly based re resource model is okay. You are mostly most like uh, some very low level, level of January to November. But December is, uh, I, we don't, they don't know. We don't know about the why of picking up. But anyway, you have to manage your resource over the picking level. The other hand, you can uh, find the most of waste your resource for not uh, high level re resource to co uh, providing. So on and off case, and you are a uh, waste to your resource in 30%. And Growing fast case is 50%. Unpredictable, 25. And predictable, 20. It's a it's very steady case is you cannot waste your resource, but 10 or 0% you waste your resource. How much your game pattern? How was your game pattern? Is it predictable or unpredictable? It's very hard to say. So we are looking for that. So you remember that I first mentioned about the development and business side, management side, why we need cloud system. The cloud system, the point of view is that we are providing different uh, system resource. 
the blue graph is actual load. So the cloud system is providing us a very, very uh, near to actual load to providing IT resource. It most important thing. You did not waste your resource because it was money. So I2 resource is providing us some peak rebel. So you are most of thing is a, a waste your resource and waste your money. So cloud computing is a very essential service in the future model. So because uh, you are not wasting your money, you have to use in cloud. So many of you already are uh, uh, familiar about the summer word the IS and PaaS and SaaS is a say, kind of a cloud computing model. So currently, some of companies building own everything is about building own own themselves. The so networking, storage, server, and app framework, application, do everything in the, their uh, developer or IT manager. So cloud computing areas so that we are uh, some providing us uh, infrastructure service. For example, the networking, storage, server, and virtualization level is using the uh, cloud vendor service, Microsoft Azure or other cloud service. And you just bring your managing your application data and operating system. It was an uh, infrastructure as a service. We uh, initially IS service. It's a more developed uh, service is a platform as a service. We call the path. The path does not caring about in the operating system. No matter Windows and Linux does not uh, care about what kind of operating system running. Just the framework and code data. You just focusing on the that. Okay, let's uh, look at the Microsoft Cloud technology. Uh, in the beginning of April, we are uh, changing our cloud service name to from Windows Azure to Microsoft Azure. It's a very minimal change. It's a, a just Microsoft and Windows different, but it, it really big different. Before we using uh, uh, Windows Azure, many of people thinking about that. Okay, it's, it's Windows Azure cloud platform for only for Windows or Microsoft technology. The beginning of April, we changed the name to Microsoft. It means we are not no longer about only for Windows, Linux, Android. IOS, we support that. So Microsoft Azure platform, uh, we have some global data center. It's 12 data center in the, in the global continental region. So four is uh, North America, two is Europe, uh, actually six in the Asia. Uh, the two is a Ch uh, Jap uh, China data center, is a little bit uh, different model, operation model. They have uh, some, our hosting partner is uh, managing our data center. And the South America region is uh, we are providing preview service, data center service in the uh, Brazil, Sao Paulo. So you have us uh, deploying your uh, South America region. We have us uh, also providing data center. And more in the Australia, we, Australia, we have two more data center in the end of this calendar year. So totally, we have a lot of some global data center providing. And CDN service also providing a 29 at, sub, at the location we're providing a CDN service. And a global support, we, you know, it's Microsoft very uh, strong uh, technical support experience because enterprise and end customer and small and medium business size, we have uh, some experience about technical support area. So you can easily contact Microsoft to a technical support team is a uh, local your language. And not only for technical support in the local account team, you can easily meet your Microsoft guys uh, for uh, cloud. You can ask him about uh, how much you're spending on cost for cloud and how gonna you moving your solution to cloud. The local account team support that. And we support uh, many different uh, local currency, currency. This slide is to show you uh, whole of uh, uh, Microsoft Azure service. You can see the uh, before slide, uh, uh, some previous slide, I mentioned about the global infrastructure in the Microsoft. It's very uh, global level service. It's automatic, the managing, usage-based is the cost consumption. And the based on the global uh, infrastructure, we provide in the three kind of the basic service. One is compute. The compute service provides the virtual machine, 
and website and cloud service, mobile service, is most like a compute level. And data service level, we are providing RDBMS, SQL database, and um, big data solution, the HD insight. And NoSQL is, we call the table, you can use in the NoSQL, and simplify storage about the blob storage. And networking services we are providing in the connect and virtual network and tracking manager for load balancing. The base on the, the uh, basic uh, service, we provide the more uh, application service. For example, casting, identity, service bus, media, and high performance computing area. For example, identity service we providing uh, uh, standard uh, authentication model. So you developed your uh, game uh, uh, and authentication by Twitter, Google account, or any other uh, the social uh, authentication model you, you, you have to implement in yourself. But uh, Windows, uh, Microsoft Azure, the identity service providing more very easily uh, integration about your application. So you just uh, uh, select the which uh, identity provider using for Twitter. You can easily integration about without any code code generation. The first one is I like showing about in the virtual machine level. The Microsoft Azure, the virtual machine, the providing uh, Windows and Linux. You bring your your own uh, virtual uh, disk to cloud. You can using it. There's no change in your code. You just bring your existing code utilized in the cloud area. So um, you ca any kind of the uh, Windows operating system, Windows uh, 2012 or 2008, it can be working. And Linux is supported in the CentOS, Ubuntu, running on the Windows Azure. So I'm showing about uh, some of the case and how going like the game server deploying the virtual machine area. Yeah, first case, uh, some uh, web gen in the, the global uh, online game company. They have some uh, FPS, the Arctic Combat. It's not uh, currently they are uh, providing game. So FPS, is the uh, Arctic Combat is the very successful game in the Asia country. They want to deploy at the new region, so uh, America and European region. They have some problem. So when they are publishing the game, a lot of uh, DDoS attack from the outside. So they want some every, t but they do not want to uh, moving every server to cloud because of some their database is still in the on-premise area. So they do not wanting about the everything moving to cloud. Now we're showing uh, their architecture later. And the second game is a mobile game. It's a Mute Genesis. It's a Mu is a very uh, representative game of WebGen. It's a PC online based game. But the Mu Genesis is a mobile game. But WebGen is there's no experience about the deploying the mobile game in the market. So they worry about that. They have no experience about how gonna they deploying the, their mobile game in the uh, market area. So uh, they wanna spending a money for uh, initial investment. So they want to, uh, they wanna, uh, they are deploying the whole game in the cloud area. So this is uh, their uh, post uh, Arctic combat game for deploying the cloud area. Okay. So you can eat finding uh, some cloud side is only for stun and uh, relay server in the re existing in the cloud area. Because a uh, lot of uh, attack from the outside uh, is a cloud system, it can be uh, extended their server. Not only one server, they having uh, some 10 or 11, no. 15 and 16 stun server in the, in the cloud. And secure in the database information in the backside and the on-premise side. The all of the database in the, their IDC environment. So a, the database is very secure, but they want some just uh, uh, prompt tier and stun and relay level just using utilizing their cloud system. It's very easy. They just uh, one month take the time to deploy in the cloud area. Is very easily deploy the, the cloud case. The second case, a mobile game. They, the first they have success to using the cloud. The second mobile game is uh, okay. They all of the system is moving the cloud system. So it's a very similar architecture, but it's a game dedication server in the uh, multi tenant. The 15 VM is running for the mobile client and management server. 
and the database server is mirroring to um, so recovering and mirroring system is consistent. It's a quite simple architecture, but they are spending uh, some very, very low, uh, short time for deploying the, the cloud. So they most of the time to the focusing on the game development and testing. The deploying the uh, server is a very short time they can be uh, working that. Okay, uh, some of you guys uh, knowing about how we're gonna uh, making a VM, but I'd like showing uh, our cloud system. Okay, uh, this is uh, window Microsoft Azure management portal. You can create a VM and create any kind of cloud service to this portal, but not only for portal. Some PowerShell and REST API can be using the whole feature, but I'd like showing about the uh, website portal to create the VM. Okay, I just click new and the quick create is just you input this information, you can create uh, your VM. But a second option is from the gallery. You choose your image, the Windows Server 2012. So not only Windows Server, some SQL Server uh, including the Windows Server and Oracle uh, database and Ubuntu and OpenLogic providing in the CentOS and Susan Linux, Oracle, and Puppet Labs is provided some uh, VM management solution. The other case, you are developing in the Visual Studio. Yes, Windows 7 Enterprise, Windows 8.1 Enterprise, also uh, you create a VM. So uh, if you want to testing some application to Visual Studio, you no longer install your system to Visual Studio in your, your laptop. So you are, you are testing the new language system. Some other language countries about you are testing. You just making a, a VM in the Visual Studio. You can localize your testing. Okay, I'd like uh, making also Windows VM. I select the image and virtual machine. Casual connect VM. And you can set a, a tier, is it, is it uh, cost level, the basic tier and standard tier is different size of VM. So you can select A0 to A7, it's like a, um, some more uh, big core and memory is, is providing. Okay, A7 is 8 core and 56 gigabyte memory, it's very expensive. I just select A0 and username, you, um, you can make uh, your username but cannot using administrators or admin it cannot using the username because a lot of uh, hacker using the, this kind of username. So you, uh, Windows Microsoft Azure does not allow the such kind of uh, some administrator name. Okay. Cloud service. Okay. This is a basic information and you can configuration as extension select some puppet and chef what kind of uh, your uh, extension the selected or your security extension or uh, uh, Microsoft anti malware and semantic endpoint protection I is a uh, optional you can select uh, your uh, extension okay that's it you can create a VM so I already created VM It's quite easy. You just uh, just the spending of uh, five or six minutes, you create the virtual machine in the Microsoft uh, Global Data Center in the in the North America region, Asia region, and European region. You can create your VMs anywhere. So I already mentioned about the Propel Master. So Microsoft uh, Azure platform is providing more uh, some computation side. So Puppet and Chef is very popular to IT administrator. So uh, you have uh, some two SQL server and application server and six web server and de deploying in a new uh, region. Every IT pro is uh, spending a whole day or one week spending on some this kind of configuration. So uh, Puppet or Chef is providing us uh, some such kind of configuration. So 
SQL Server, how many SQL Server do you have, and how many application server running, web server also. You just put in the information, the configuration, the Puppet Master Server, and the new uh, deploying the new region, just the clicking and the deploy, the automatic generating of the how your configured SQL Server and application server automatic deploy in the, in the cloud system. It's normally 15 minutes taking up such kind of configuration. You're no longer spending a time at every region you can deploy and reconfiguration. It's a cloud side, it's just you select and the puppet master or chef, you can deploy easily to any kind of uh, some region. So my, uh, is another big case about our virtual machine case is Titan Force Xbox One games. The I don't know is when they are launching the market. Is Titan Force is very popular in the in the Xbox One game. So this game is uh, hosted by uh, Microsoft Azure platform. The 100,000 VM is running from the Titan Force. Actually, we using uh, and we are closing partner is already using the, our uh, VM merged VM. Okay, this is uh, infrastructure as a service model. I want to uh, talking about in the platform as a service model for more detail. So, uh, mobile game is extension for uh, in the past model. The VM is uh, we are uh, even uh, IT pro is managing the operating system, the security update, and network configuration. Everything to today themselves, but cloud side, cloud service is does not managing about in the operating system side, so we can easily deploying the uh, in each by instance by instance. So here is uh, some uh, animation. You can create in the, the some role and deploy it in the the basic the vanilla operating system that can be running on the, the instance. So easily extended your instance number of instance. So very easily expanding and scale out model this can be possible. So for example, it's, a, it's easily to understanding about what is different the virtual machine and cloud service. Today launch time, you, uh, you may be experienced about the long line of for launch time, right? Doesn't? Yes, it is a puppet table, some salad and noodle and beef and bread. The some small people is there's no problem, but a lot of people is to waiting for some puppet table. Okay, so what is your solution? The more people comes in, so simply extending the solution is that one more table, the same menu. Is it happy? So people is uh, another uh, queue is coming to new instance area. Okay, so this is a good solution, but there is some problem. Some people is vegetarian. Some people does not having uh, some salad. Some people does not like uh, some eating a bread. So, okay, people going, going. The post table, prepared table is every food is gone, is, is happy. But second table is uh, some people is only for eat a salad and noodle. And people and bread is uh, left behind the food. It's wasted. It's something like us, and we're thinking about in the, our cloud, uh, some server resource system. Okay, this is very simple. Uh, imagine you, it, your, simple, your application, client server. The server system is having uh, some very different module, UI, authentication, and billing and report. It's a whole different module in the single VM. Okay, your game is very popular. Many, many clients is connect to your server system. What is your solution? Simply, it's adding more VM for in the service. It might be easily to extend in your system service. Well, you're thinking about that. Billing and report module is not much heavy. When you're launching the game, the authentication and UI side are very, very busy as a lot of uh, got a pre uh, pr workload is uh, pressing. But billing and uh, report module is does not much uh, workload. It's very but you, uh, but you are adding more VM instance, it is wasted to resource building and uh, report. So cloud service is different point of view. We are we can approach that. The same situation, but it's not VM. The cloud service is instance by module. Okay, authentication really heavy. You extend the instance, uh, three kind of instance, three instance uh, in the in the 
service area. Billing, two instance. Report, not much using it. Just one instance enough. OK, we save the resource. So saving the resource meaning is equally to saving the cost. Do you remember my post slide deck? We have to save the money for the, uh, the spending or some money for the cloud system, uh, so back end system. So uh, cloud service, uh, platform as service, more efficient to saving your cost. So actually, I'm going to show you about uh, the management portal. I like uh, I like uh, I make some sample cloud service area, a casual game instance, a scale. Okay, so this is authentication model and billing, billing module, and report. The three, three kind of instance running on my cloud service. Okay. Currently, just one instance running. I'd like adding more instance. Okay, 11 instance create. And the billing, four instance. So simply a two instance enough. Okay. The other option is, okay, I think it is a very automatically scaling this component. Okay. This is currently non-selected. Okay, I like as auto-scaling by CPU consumption. So instance, that one to 10, the target CPU range is uh, uh, 70% to 90%. This means that you, you can, your instance reaching the CPU, the 70 or the 90%, instance automatically increasing the more instance automatically to uh, service. And more option is that you can specific time and specific day. So in the only for weekend time and daytime, you can set your uh, auto auto scaling configuration time. It is a cloud system. It's so more uh, flexible and more uh, cloud style application. Okay. So this is sample of a cloud service area. The cloud uh, service component uh, uh, so does not care about in the operating system. The first example about uh, the healing story, the horse doctor, it was a very famous Korean drama. Uh, the game companies developed that they're based on the, uh, the, this drama, the social network game. So every uh, component is consisting by the cloud service. Not they are not using the any kind of the virtual machine. The frontier and the, the uh, cloud service the web role, and behind the, the cache and worker role is working some saving the data and generating leaderboard and some kind of information storing. And interesting is uh, uh, the push notification is very uh, key part of uh, some mobile game. And the other general, the VM model is uh, creating the virtual machine side, but uh, cloud service providing the notification hub is for push notification. So push not you sending us some information to notification hub, notification hub is some push notification service to client. The notification hub is very simple. You can just create a uh, notification hub and device running in the post your application installed to your uh, client system, mobile phone, and lo post the learning time to register about the uh, uh, push notification system. And your backend side, you are okay, so this information push the client. So you're just sending a, a Microsoft to push notification hub and push notification hub connected with uh, uh, push uh, Google. GCN and Apple APN and Microsoft WNS Windows notification system. So you notification hub information to sending out uh, each of the P PNS system and client getting a push notification from the each of PNS system. Yeah, another example is a, a Microsoft Halo Waypoint application. This is a uh, iPhone and Windows Phone and Galaxy uh, Android platforms running on the applic uh, game application, even uh, iPad. 
the disk game application is holding is the same, uh, different, a little bit uh, different, but uh, cloud service uh, consists by cloud service, the workload, and the Azure storage area. So a little bit different the model so because I mentioned uh, this Microsoft research team is developed a new uh, framework. It's it open to uh, publicly. We call the project Alliance. It's quite a, a new model. It's a different uh, distributed actual actual one time model uh, using the Tanda technology, and we call the silo for execution container. It's quite uh, a little bit. A different model, but it's using cloud service. So we actor is running handling of a, a client request and running as a module, and the silo is a consists a lot of actor. So it silo is a multiple silo is a servicing for one game. So it, this meaning is so some uh, server side application is having uh, some problem. The other uh, silo is covering about the uh, different service. So it's very a uh, failure recovery system. So some application, server side application having a pro problem going down or some have some hanging and shut down. But other silo is recovering about the, uh, this game service. So a public previous uh, audience announced in the last April, the build the event. You can download uh, the framework, whole framework and you can view in source code about the uh, uh, project audience. You can download it. The web game, and you must be the web game developers using the Node.js and open source technology. So my, Microsoft Azure supported a lot of open source technology. So I already mentioned about the virtual machine, the Ubuntu, CentOS, and Oracle Linux. And software uh, development kit is PHP, Java, Node.js, and Ruby. The big data support is uh, Hadoop and MongoDB and other Redis cache and Jero MQ, such kind of whole open source technology can be using in the Microsoft Azure platform. So I'd like to show you the quick demo for uh, publishing those that JS. Okay, this is a Node.js code. Uh, it's very simple, uh, Node.js does the querying about the CPU information Yes, quite simple. You know, so Node is very powerful in the JavaScript language for learning on the server side. It, it may be the game companies love using the Node.js for backend service and API and authentication service. A lot of service learning on the Node.js. And Skype, Yammer, and eBay using the Node.js for very fast and uh, the web API level. Okay, I d just developed in the just ki such kind of uh, simple code and deploying the cloud, just a simple script, a simple uh, PowerShell command that deploying the, this kind of application to cloud the system. Publish. Azure. Publish Azure Service Project. Uh, service name, Casual Connect, demo, and Location. The location means data center. I'm deploying the East Asia data center server. And finally, I will run, uh, launch. That's all. Uh, this co PowerShell command in the compile and packaging my code, and uh, they verifying the storage account and deploying the my uh, cloud system. It takes some time. So. Yes, at this moment it's not yet deployed. That just I have two cloud service area, but uh, yes, uh, creating and casual connect demo. So Node.js Node application easily deploying to cloud system. Okay. 
Burger King. Yep. Yes. Casual Connect demo. Your new application generated by cloud system. You just uh, simply make a Node.js code and deploying the such kind of uh, the cloud system by PowerShell command line. Yes, uh, this is exactly the same case. Uh, some Singapore uh, game company, Scubo, is uh, based on the uh, Singapore and Australia and some other region, more one more region as global company. They have uh, developed uh, their web-based game. They have some uh, educational service for children. So some animal names for learning in English and some other, uh, some very educational app, s app service. Uh, they have developed uh, some game for made by Node.js. They wanna want to, to not uh, want learning as new technologies for deploying uh, their game to cloud. So uh, existing technology and their knowledge is Node.js. Yes. Everything is made by Node.js. This is there the web game architecture, the website, and WordPress engine, and workflow, and the cache, and building a reader board. Everything is made by Node.js. They does not running as a new program language and a new technology. Just utilize their current uh, existing knowledge and deploying to cloud system. You may be looking for uh, this architecture. is very common architecture in the web-based game. The frontier is a web, and behind the some of the API rebel is running on the game. So the, it exists, it's especially uh, there are no using any kind of RDBMS, no SQL, no MySQL. Every data is stored in the table storage. Why? The RDBM is very uh, managing, it's uh, very hard to managing, and scale out model is not versatile. So no SQL is just not managing about any index problem and scale out model. So very easily expanding about their service and data storage area. Uh, this is a web-based architecture using the cloud. And the business intelligence uh, Currently, a lot of some analytic service provider and the third party partner or any other uh, solution. But you may be uh, need more uh, some analytic system to why user leave early and why you just stop to playing the game. What time is the best uh, marketing time for advertisement to your game? It's a very uh, complicated problem. So many people is using, many companies using uh, Hadoop for this kind of uh, Intelli business intelligence model. So Microsoft provide uh, uh, HD Insight. HD Insight case is 100% uh, in the compatible with the uh, Apache Hadoop solution. So um, Hive and using the Excel and .NET and Java code running on the uh, blob uh, HD Insight. So you can easily uh, working with the uh, uh, big data system. So in, in this case, uh, uh, the game company, one of the game company want to use finding an uh, abusing user. Uh, do you have any uh, some concerning about abusing user your game? So this game company is a little bit concerning about the uh, abusing user. Uh, this is an RPG game, but some abusing user is uh, hacking the game and uh, tri uh, different uh, really bad message to sending as a, as a message hooking and so illegal operation for uh, getting of some gold or silver and game money is the biggest problem. So they are uh, finding us abusing user, they're spending a whole day. Sometimes they're spending uh, two or three days finding us abusing user. So database nested query and query and query. Over uh, five or six time query, they're finding us uh, some one or user, but it's not correct. So they want to using the big data system so database uh, sending uh, information to cloud. The cloud st uh, blob storage is uh, storing many, many information. Just uh, every day they're having uh, some rogue file size, uh, 300 gigabytes per the single server. They're having uh, 
11 game servers generating 300 gigabyte per day. Imagine how much data storing about one year. Really, really huge big data system as data is accumulated in the, their system. So they are sending all of the log information to cloud, system, cloud storage area. There's no limitation, a very cheap. So and then there's the based on the log file and, and map reduce code generation and running on the Hadoop in the HD inside service. So finally, uh, the view model, it's not just developing a, a complicated web application and Windows application. They just use Excel. Uh, Excel directly connected Microsoft to blob storage. So they uh, retrieve in their region. So uh, they are, uh, before using uh, HD Insight and the big data system, they are spending a one person uh, whole day or uh, three days spending a time for finding abusing user. But after that, they're using the HD inside. Can you expect uh, how much long take time to finding an abusing user? Just 50 minutes. 50 minutes taking uh, analyzing and finding abusing user. Really awesome. So the big data is developed and providing us a, a big uh, time saving or finding uh, abusing user. It, it was very great. Uh, uh, case study about the uh, big data system. The most important thing is that they did not knowing about how to install uh, Hadoop. Just to select the Microsoft instance and created a cluster, that's all. And they created something that we just called the, and the learning on the HD inside. Okay, well, uh, the game back in the service, a uh, lot of backend service user management, Firestore achievement, and read generating readable and push notification. You maybe know about uh, some of the company already providing your company, so it's a backend service. So Microsoft is a different view of us the providing the backend service, the mobile service. A mo Microsoft mobile service providing uh, some storing the data and user authentication and push notification service providing. You just create a client application, client side application, the Android and iOS and Windows Store application, and calling the REST API from the uh, mobile service. That's all. There's no server side code generation. Just cl focusing on the client side, and the backend side is mobile application is the service for you. But it's uh, always showing about the mobile service. This is mobile service. Just simply uh, click and new and your mobile service name. I already create one. The mobile service providing uh, some data storing mechanism. You can, you don't, you don't need any uh, server side uh, database connection code and any query statement and push notification. So Windows application and Google is uh, using the API key. You just input Google API key information to uh, this area. This uh, is enabled to push notification. Identity. Identity will provide the Microsoft account and Facebook, Twitter, and Google. You just uh, uh, setting uh, identity information to put in the, this area and automatically generation for your uh, client application. So for example, uh, dashboard. Oops. Dashboard. Yeah. So I want to create uh, Android application for the simplest data storing. So you can select Android if you want to some a uh, Apple iOS. And Generate code, install Xcode tools, and create table and download your uh, uh, template application. I already uh, created Android application, and only create table and download. So here is the okay. This is Android emulator. So Add. 
looking at the data section. Currently, there's some take some time. Yes. The test data input in the server side. How are we going to make it? You don't need any uh, generation server side code. This is a ADT tool in the Android client side. The client side, you're just using such kind of code. So it's mainly is a M client meaning is mobile client service. So mobile service client is a pointed as a Windows Azure mobile service. That's all. And you're just using the M client to get table. Everything is uh, the working on the client side. There's no server side additional works. Simply you create in the data storing the data. So it's just uh, simply uh, showing about uh, some uh, to do item, but it's thinking of a different user profile information and user setting, you can simply storing about such kind of module, the Android, and iOS, and Windows phone, no matter your client. Uh, even we support in the Kindle. Kindle Fire also we support that. This is a uh, mobile service. Is it nice? And the last one is Azure API management feature. It's a, it's a brand new service we announced last week. The API, Azure API management service is you are providing uh, API provider and web API with other company. So you can monitor about how much API consume, uh, which country using your API. And you have to provide the developer portal. So everything is we provide as API management service. You just create your uh, a web API the other thing is uh, Windows Azure is covering about that. So uh, format and protocol, URI and aggregation, how to expose and protect, and UCG, how much you API consumption, health and latency, and rifle cycle versioning, and monitoring everything information we provide. You just bring your API. Yeah, so last case is another game. Uh, this is a sales marketing service. We are also, they are also running on the uh, Microsoft Azure platform. The Karma Coin is very famous uh, uh, service in the game back and sub, not the game, uh, the prepaid card solution. It's the next in America is uh, using the this kind of uh, prepaid card solution to play the user, to play, uh, to play it for user. So game user is uh, the buying is some prepaid card karma coin in the 7-Eleven or Safeway and Toys R Us. Then they activate the, your, their card to in the website. Uh, the karma coin system running on the Microsoft Azure. They also um, cloud service system. So web role and work role, they're using the Microsoft SQL database, uh, not VM. And also they're using the table. And externally, their system only for band system. So activation to 7-Eleven uh, card or in the Safeway card. This is Karma Coin architecture. Yes, uh, this is the last one. So um, you can the develop the application and test the game. So with the cloud, the virtual machine is providing more uh, efficiency to cost, ef cost efficiency to testing your application. Sometimes you develop to develop or testing you create uh, some VM and some network configuration required, very complicated situation. So uh, you can use it in the deploying the your game in the, the cloud system. You can save the money for in the testing after that you delete uh, every system in the cloud. So I fail. So I create the VM. Okay, I just delete. Yes. Because it's uh, our uh, virtual machine is uh, uh, costed measuring by minute, not hour. Other cloud system is uh, costed per hour. So per hour is meaning is you can shut down and uh, power on, 
and it, within the 10 minutes, they are, uh, uh, request your uh, money for two hour consumption. They're quite different. So Microsoft Virtual Machine for measuring the usage time by every per minute is quite different. So and delete as a mobile service also can be delete. Database, everything. Yes, you can finish your testing. You delete every resource in the after your testing and there's no longer we are uh, asking the money. Okay, how do you feel about the cloud system, Microsoft Azure? This is cloud. Uh, today I just quick overview and very high level uh, technical overview about the Microsoft cloud platform. So uh, each one of uh, service is very um, lot of providing a lot of future. So today, just I just a quick overview about um, our cloud system. So it's key messages. Don't use any kind of some Microsoft technology. So most of my partner and customer, they know about the Microsoft technology. No .NET and no Visual Studio and no Windows Server. No JS and Linux and MySQL, it's okay. So we are always welcome to open source technology in the cloud. So PHP and Python and Ruby, any kind of Java languages you can be using in the, in the Microsoft Cloud. A lot of the CMS solution, WordPress and Joomla and Drupal, any kind of CMS solution can be running on the Microsoft Cloud. And client device, it, it, you already saw it, uh, Android platform we fully support, and push notification system, we support Google and Apple. And big data is a main key topic, so SQL Server and Hadoop and operating system is uh, Windows and Linux kind of uh, operating system. Okay, thank you. So any question? <laughs>